Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video We're gonna be taking a look at the dragon harpoon doing a review over it You guys can see right now what's inside of the shop for a limited time for 10 days for this Halloween update and build a boat for treasure that just dropped today And in this video, we're gonna be seeing if this dragon harpoon is actually worth it Should you spend the 300 robux on it? What exactly this item does everything you need to know about it before you purchase it or if you don't purchase it it. Well, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this item does in this video and how it compares to the other harpoons inside of the game So make sure to stay tuned also be sure to like the video and subscribe We're not gonna waste any more time. Let's hop straight into the video All right, so first things first I want to go over just basically all the other harpoons that we have So quickly we have the normal harpoon that you can buy inside of the shop for 200 gold This harpoon right here you just shoot it at whatever it has a 30 second timer And as soon as this timer is over then it pulls back in and retracts and the harpoon is done next up we have the golden harpoon which if you shoot this one it's essentially just like the normal basic harpoon except it doesn't have the timer above it so the golden harpoon will last basically forever and um, it's pretty strong so we have those two and now we have the Christmas harpoon so the Christmas harpoon the cool thing about this is that it's a dual candy cane harpoon so you guys can see if you look at this it's got two ends to it so you can shoot one to the left one to the right and it's a pretty Pretty cool harpoon one of the most unique harpoons inside of the game because obviously it has two in one it's pretty cool and then we have the dragon harpoon right here now off the design I honestly think the design on this harpoon looks the best out of all the others because it has these cool wings on it but that's just me personally now what makes this harpoon actually stand out from the other harpoons inside of the game well you guys can see right here let me just use skeleton for example skeleton um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this at you uh, I don't know what you're doing over there with all those harpoons but um, watch this this guys so wow that was a miss wait no it's not wait it's coming back wait look at that it's literally it was tracking him right there let's try to do it again all right let's hit him right oh well that one missed hold on hold on let's see ready and just like that so you guys can see it's actually going to track him all the way Oh, it almost got him right there. But essentially what this does is it tracks, okay? It tracks players and locks onto players, and that's what makes it unique that no other harpoon has inside of the game. None of these other harpoons have this tracking ability, but other than that, oh my gosh, whoa! Wait, I want to try that out. Wait, what in the world? That was sick. Okay, so Skeleton right here has built a giant wheel of these things, but I have to try this out. Wait, what in the world is this? Okay, so, wait, how many, how many dragon harpoons is this? Wait, how many dragon harpoons do I actually have? I have... 67 of them okay i think that's a decent amount but uh let's see here so what i'm supposed to do is activate this and then just try to like aim it at my avatar like this and oh oh my gosh whoa that's sick okay hold on i gotta try that again oh whoa 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 okay uh skeleton can you save me please uh my screen is uh breaking um okay uh, this is this is not looking too well oh my gosh okay let me just reset my character what in the world was that all right, guys, I made my uh, little homemade uh, dragon harpoon circle here, like Skeleton did, except Skeleton's looks way better than mine. But um, we got, like, twice as many harpoons here. This most likely will just glitch out, but I'm kind of curious to test this to see if it'll work. Okay, here we go. All right, Skeleton, wait, I have an idea. You shoot your circle of harpoons at me, and I'll shoot my circle of harpoons at you. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? We both have to start in the air, though, like like somewhat like this. Okay, here we go. All right, three, two, one, and here we go. It started. Oh, wait, what just happened? Wait, all of his harpoons just got stuck in the ground. Wait, what? Okay, well, let's activate. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and okay, here we go. I shot him. Oh, oh, I hit him on majority of them. Wait, I got hit by one of his. I got hit by literally one. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So you guys can see that this item is pretty fun to mess around with. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has a feature that no other harpoon has. And that is the ability to actually track players. I don't know if it tracks uh, the morphs. I actually want to test that out. I know a lot of players don't actually use the morphs inside of Build-A-Boats. But I'm actually kind of curious to see if it still tracks. Um, oh, Skeleton, I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so I, I, I completely forgot to free you. I'm so sorry. So, wait, you can't actually click on... You can't have jet packs on with the morph anymore i thought you could wait uh, they must have uh they must have updated that because i don't really remember but uh let's see if the uh let's see if the oh wait it kind of just went right through me okay skeleton i'm just gonna walk in a line like this let's see if it tracks me 
All right, let's see here. And uh, yep, go ahead whenever. Yeah, it looks like it does not track the morphs at all uh, inside of the game here. Oh, that one was kind of close. I think he just aimed it at me. Yeah, it definitely does not track the morph. So actually the penguin hitbox was a lot smaller, but you guys can notice with the fox here that the fox um, has a, a slightly larger hitbox. And you guys can see right there, the harpoon did curve. So it does uh, trace uh, the morphs as well, which is pretty interesting. So if I had to rate pretty much all the harpoons inside of the game, I definitely think the dragon harpoon is better than the Christmas harpoon and also the normal harpoon. But I think honestly, the golden harpoon may be my favorite harpoon inside of the game. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, there's actually a secret in which you can get the golden harpoon absolutely for free inside of one of the stages. In fact, it's the laundry machine stage. You go up to the little TV mini game and you play the mini boss fight. And I believe you get two of these and like 200 gold absolutely for free. Now, the dragon harpoon, on the other hand, is not obtained for free. This is inside of the shop for 300 Robux. But then again, the dragon harpoon is like a Halloween event exclusive item. And whoa, what in the world is going on? On. Ouch. That that very, very much hurted, Mr. Skeleton. But anyway, you guys can see, like, this item is, like, event only. Now, inside of previous Halloween events that we've had, the Dragon Harpoon was for free. That's why I have 68 of them. I did not spend those all buying them for Robux because that would be thousands upon thousands of Robux. So there might be a point in which they bring back the Dragon Harpoon for free inside of a future update. Or maybe it might just stay only obtainable for Robux. We really don't know. But I mean, if you really want this item then i just say go for it it's pretty cool when you're like doing pvp battles with your friends because it can automatically lock on the people and also morphs but then again if you're just trying to use it for like because you want a normal harpoon and to use glitches and terrain moving glitches stuff like that i would personally go with the golden harpoon and i wouldn't spend the robux for the dragon one because the dragon one is super special i mean it looks cool it's a halloween event exclusive so it is a pretty rare item but it all comes down to really what you want to use the item for. If you're trying to collect all the items in build boat and you want a cool PvP item, I say go for it. But as I mentioned, if you're just trying to, you know, have a basic harpoon item, well, there's other alternatives for that inside of the game. Now, also, the Christmas harpoon, on the other hand, there's a very likely chance that this harpoon could also be coming back uh, for free inside of the next Christmas update. Because if they do bring back the Christmas update, which we already know they are, they've confirmed it. If they do bring back the Christmas chest, then this harpoon right here is going to be available for gold. But it's like a 0.2% chance or something ridiculous to actually get the candy cane harpoon right here. And I believe they also return this to the shop for Robux as well. So the dragon harpoon is available right now. The Christmas harpoon is going to be available inside of December. So at the end of the day, it's really what you want to spend your Robux on. But if you guys have any like cool features or glitches that you use the dragon harpoon for, let me know down below inside the comment section. Let me know if you guys buy this thing. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all inside of the next one. Peace out. And goodbye.